Greetings. Today I want to continue on the subject of consciousness is the ultimate intelligence. And as you know, I would have done a video before on the same subject and I promise to continue on explaining the esoteric meaning of St. John chapter 3 teaching you that the Bible is a book of mind science and that it must be understood psychologically. That is why I'm always breaking down and explaining the Bible to you from an esoteric standpoint, a metaphysical standpoint, and from a psychological standpoint because it's all mind science and it is teaching you of your secret power that you can use to achieve your every desire. So I want you to discover your own secret power and use that power to live the best version of your life here while having this human experience. But of course, you must know that your real identity is your divinity. So you are a divine being living in a body. Okay, last week I read for you from St. John chapter 3 right up to verses 4. And now I'm going to continue from verses 5. And just to give you a little recap, I mentioned that Nicodemus represents your lower self, your ego self. And Christ represents your higher self, your true essence. Okay, so here... It is teaching you that your higher self will always be correcting your lower self. So in verse 5 it says, I am, because as you know, my Bible has no Jesus. Jesus has been omitted and there's a blank space for you to write your name, which is I am. And I, as I always mention that I am is the name of all of humanity. And I am is the name of God. So there is only God having this human experience. You can never say I am and not referring to yourself. I also mentioned that the universal question of life will always be who am I? And when the answer comes, it must be I am that I am. Which is to say I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in his heart, I subconscious mind, so is he. So it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and creating your personality. So you must take personal responsibility for your life. So here in verse 5 it says, I am answered verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. You see, your water birth is your physical birth. You see, your mother water bath have to first burst to give that birth. And whether the water bath burst before or after the birth, you are actually in a basket when you are in your mother's womb surrounded by water because most of the body is water. Okay, just like the earth, most of the earth is water and the rest is jailon. And so you are the Moses who is surrounded by water in a basket because Moses means to be born or to be taken out of the water. And you're going to experience the exodus because you're going to change dimension. You're going to come from that place whereby you were in your mother's womb to come to have this human experience in this physical three-dimensional world. This world whereby you will find that your body is a slave to your mind. Okay? And your higher self must be in control of your lower self. You are facing Pharaoh which are all of your circumstances. And you must understand cause and effect so that you will not be enslaved by effects. You will not be enslaved by fear. You must overcome fear. So here it says here, except a man be born of the water. So you have to be born of the water first. So you have to have a physical birth and then you need to have your spirit birth, your spiritual birth. So unless you have that spiritual birth, which is the birth from above, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. No, the kingdom of God is within you. So when you have that experience from within that new birth, you realize that the resurrection and the virgin birth is the same event. You realize that 
your higher self have been crucified at Golgotha, the place of the skull, the place of the mind. You'll understand that everything is mental, everything is psychological, everything was for a thought and everything was for an idea. And you will realize that all of your circumstances is based on, based on the thoughts that you embrace in your life. And so you're seeking results in your life. And you're told that if you want results, there must be a transformation. And that transformation can only come by the renewing of your mind. And that is why you have to break the pattern or the paradigm of confirmation and being not conform to this world because this world have a way whereby certain systems are set up to keep you into a place of sleep, a place of amnesia, knowing that you're born in amnesia and they want you to continue in that state of amnesia. That's why every one of us who born in this world, we cannot remember when we were a month or six months old or even 12 months old and so on. And that is why they want to keep you in that sleeping state. But there are those of us who want you to wake up. And so we are correcting the lower self because we have preceded you in the awakening. And we have come to the realization of our higher self and teaching you that true salvation is self-realization. That's the whole lesson here when you understand the Bible metaphysically, esoterically, and psychologically. When you understand that the Bible just is the human psyche. Okay? So that's what it's saying here. The kingdom of God is within you and you cannot discover the kingdom unless you have a new board, unless you have a change of mind, a change of thinking. And that is why you have to be willing to unlearn, relearn and reprogram your subconscious mind. So my brother, my sisters, the question to you is, are you willing to unlearn, relearn, and reprogram your subconscious mind? Are you willing to come to the realization that intellectual knowing is not true knowing? That's false knowing. It is only when you have experience for yourself you really know. And that is why if you never practice to live by faith, and faith is you remaining uh, loyal to the unseen, it is you living from inside out, it is you trusting the invisible, to produce you the visible. If you never do that, you'll never be able to come to understand the power that is within you. You'll never discover your secret power that you can use to achieve your every desire. And the reason why it is a secret, it is because it is within and it is hidden from the masses. That's why you are told that you must not be like the hypocrite who like to be seen and heard, but you must go in to your closet, go into the secret place where your father dwell in secret. Well, your father is your consciousness, your awareness of being, your I am-ness, your Christ self, the savior. So this whole story about Jesus the Christ is a story of the savior which is within you. And the reason why the savior is a personal savior, it is because it is your own self that you have to look for and find that self of you that will save you. Okay? So my brother, my sister, this is why he says verse 6. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That is speaking of the birth from the water, the water birth. Okay, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That which is born of the spirit will include all of the elements, earth, wind, water, fire, and spirit. You experience your invisible self. You'll come back to your true essence. And I'm speaking from experience. That is why I know that the greatest lie that has been ever fed to humanity is the Jesus and Mary story that has been interpreted to the masses as if it is literal and if it is secular history. It has nothing to do with a man who existed 2,000 years ago. It is the creative power that is within you that will save you from all of your circumstances, from all the things that you face in life and bring you to that place of self-realization, which is salvation, okay, which I've mentioned before. So it's all about knowing thyself. You have a secret power, okay, that you can use to live life on your own terms. Then it says here, Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. The wind blew it where it listed, and thou hearest the song thereof, but canst not tell 
when it cometh and whether it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You'll become invisible. You'll experience your visible self. Not everyone will be able to understand you. When you speak, you speak in parables. Even though I'm speaking in English, to many I'm speaking foolishness. But to some, this is wisdom. To, to some, this is resonating with them. But to others, it's not resonating with them. Nicodemus, which is your Lord, said, answered and said unto him, How can these things be? You see, these people who are delusional and who are still trapped in their ego self, they try to reason these things. And they will want to wonder how these things can be because they are still living in the intellectual self. They want to work it out. They still have the school program in the head. They still have the father's educational system in the head. They still have the slave mind in their heads. And so they're, they're still delusional and they remain in that delusional state unless they are willing to die to their ego self. So my brother, my sisters, when I speak of consciousness being the ultimate intelligence, it is because when I would have had that experience, it brought me to that place of ultimate intelligence. It's like my IQ level has gone to another uh, level and I'm able to understand certain things, things I've never studied. Okay, I've come to understand those things easily. And I remember quite vividly when I started doing videos, many people reach out to me and say, I know you would have read the Kabbalah and I know you have read this, you would have read that. I would, and I would have never read any of those books. As a matter of fact, it is just lately now I start um, investing in books and start having more books and so on because I realize how useful they are to help other people. Okay, and so my brother and my sister, I'm saying that there's an ultimate intelligence within you. And when you come in touch with that ultimate intelligence, it is said that all these things will be added unto you. That's why you're told to seek first that kingdom. And when you discover the kingdom, all these things will be added unto you. So you have a secret power lying dormant within you. I'm saying to you, it's time for you to raise up that power. But you can only do it through your attitude. Because your attitude will determine your altitude. And that is why I would encourage you to always live in the attitude of gratitude. So, my brother and my sisters, I hope what I'm saying here, it makes sense to you. And this chapter of St. John, chapter 3, started to make more sense to you because I definitely don't have to continue again. You know, I realize I, mean, I would have to make this a series where I open up St. John, chapter 3, because it's very, very important. Okay, and everything in St. John, chapter 3, I would have experienced. You know, this is like the fulfillment of my entire life, my Christ life. You see, many people believe that Jesus is a man 2,000 years ago, but many will not recognize Jesus right before them. Okay, you see, if you're hungry, then food is your savior. And Jesus just means savior. If you're thirsty, then water are going to be a savior. If you're with a walk and you need employment, then employment will definitely be your 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 your. Your savior, if you're broke and you need money, then money will definitely be your savior. So the savior is within each and every one of us. But you have to tap in to the power of the savior. Use the power of the savior to achieve your every desire. But you cannot do so unless you have that transformation. There must be a transformation. Each and every one of us must experience that new birth. But it starts with you changing your mindset. That's why it starts, you changing your mindset. So a good way to start is to start to love yourself, believe in yourself, and start to embrace in yourself. And stop look for a savior outside of yourself. Believe the fact that everything is within you. We live in a mental universe. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I just want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share this video. Also, I definitely encourage you to get my latest book. It's called Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. And truly, you can live a more fulfilling life if you understand these recipes that are hidden in the Bible, which are actually soul food. And once you feed upon those full soul food, you're going to expand and you're going to grow and you're going to live the best version of your life on this planet. 
because you come to know who you are and then you'll be able to exercise your inner power to achieve your every desire so i definitely encourage you to get that book the link is down below you can get it on amazon get one for yourself one for a friend one for a family member and one for some religious person that you know you share the love with them also if you like to follow me on instagram or you like to follow me on tiktok you can follow me at black mad guru and i have a patreon community which i would like to introduce you to and there's a lot of good gems there and my patreon however i have a course there that is called the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously and along with that is a bonus course on self-concept so if you want to know how powerful it is to have the right concept of who you are and uh, you want to know more about the inner light the inner power the inner sun that is within you of which the bible says the lord our god is a son a sun and a shield and no good thing will be told from you and it also says that the sun the sun of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings if you want to know that true healing and righteousness is a discovery is a realization and you want to tap in to discover that power i will definitely encourage you to listen to those videos and put the teaching to work in your life also if you like to do a one-on-one -on -one with me you can reach out to me by way of email and of course their terms and conditions i can send the link to you and if you agree we can definitely have a, have a great time together but just before i leave you i just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work i just want to remind you that we have a paypal and the link is always down below so that be said my brother and my sisters i just want to say to you peace Love you all. I'm out.